Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm making the Vintures of tutorials every week, so if you wanna stay tuned and improve yourself as a video editor, make sure you subscribe. Let's begin with the tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how we can create a hologram effect on person. So right now, I'm in the edit tab and I am having a dance video, which I want to include some hologram effect. I'm highlighting that footage and I'm going to the color tab. On the right side on your nodes, you can right click and select add alpha output. Once you create it, connect the blue square to the blue dot and then make sure your magic mask window is open. You can find it right here. And then make sure you select toggle mask overlay, which is right here. On quality, you can leave it as a default on faster. Then you can take the qualifier with the plus sign and you can draw a line over your subject. In my case is that girl, so I wanna mask it. So I'm drawing a line over it. Now that she is selected, I'm gonna start the tracker by pressing on forward, which is right here. And I'm gonna speed up this process. Now that we are having our mask ready, we're gonna jump back to the edit tab. So in here, as you can see, our mask is finished. So now I'm highlighting my video footage. I'm holding Alt and I'm dragging it to video slot number 2 so I can make a duplicate of that clip. Then you can take that second clip and you can take down the length in the beginning and the end. Something like this. And that is because I want the hologram effect to appear just in the middle of it. If you want to leave it all the way, you can leave the clip the same length as the first one. Then I'm highlighting the second one and I'm going back to the color tab. I'm gonna open the timeline menu. So you can see that I'm working with the first one, which is the longest one. Then I'm right clicking on it and I'm resetting the node grade. And also I'm removing the alpha output. Then as you can see, I'm highlighting the second one, which is the shortest one. The video footage on video slot number two. I'm opening the effects and I'm gonna add one effect. You can either find it manually or type in the search box edge detect. And when you got it, you can grab it and drag it over the second note, which is the note from the second clip, which is in my case is the shortest one. And now I'm going to make some adjustments on that edge detect. I'm increasing the brightness, I'm reducing the strength, and then on the drop down menu of the mode, I'm selecting grayscale edge. And that's because I want to add some color to that hologram effect to make it more realistic. In my case, I'm gonna pick something like yellow and then I'm jumping back to the edit tab. So right now I'm having the mask and also the edge detect with some color on it. And now I'm gonna select the second clip, which is the shortest one on video slot number two. And on compulsive mode, I'm gonna pick screen. That way I'm gonna keep just the outline from that edge detect and make it more look like a hologram effect. Next up, I'm going through the video and I'm looking for a moment where this effect is more effective to happen. I'm picking this part because she's throwing her hands forward. So I'm selecting the keyframe next to the position and then I'm increasing the value. It should be somewhere around here. This is the end position. And then I'm going in the beginning of that clip so I can create the start position with the keyframe values of zero on the position. So that way these two keyframes, they are gonna go from 0 to 431 on position and it's gonna create that pop hologram effect. Then I'm going forward in the timeline and around here at the end of that clip, I'm already having a values of 431 on position, so I'm creating a keyframe and from the second keyframe until the third one is gonna last until here and then until the end of the clip it's gonna go back to 0. And also I'm adding some little bit of fading in the beginning and the end of that second clip on video slot number 2. And this is the final result. And if you wanna stay tuned for more effects in the ventures of and improve yourself as a video editor, make sure you subscribe and see you in the next one.